Tell us about um, your year last year in the BBL, sort of a breakout year, and how you think that's helped you get to this position you're in now. Yeah, um, obviously um, I, I got a great opportunity a couple of years ago to go across to the Sixers and, and get the opportunity to wicket keep and bat there. And um, yeah, I think um, you know having a, a bit of a rough start to the WA season really motivated me this this big bash to um, get some big scores on the board and um, you know just make some really important match winning. Um, well, I guess I had plenty of match-winning opportunities, and and I just was really eager to to you know be out there and be the man to get the job done. So um, yeah, I mean it's helped me immensely, and it's also um, you know been really good with my wicket keeping to showcase that side of my game as well. Mm -hmm. And so the you know you that that year in the BBL, how much of a factor do you think it was in in getting here and and you know um, being one a batter and two a backup keeper? Yeah, uh, I think obviously it's it's probably the biggest thing on our domestic calendar. So um, I'm sure there's plenty of eyes watching, and and it's just nice to know um, that you know people have been watching my game and, and seeing me develop, and and you know they must like what they see to an extent. So it's just nice to know that um, yeah, I guess they've been watching. What are your early experiences of being here, being in camp, being around all the guys? I mean, obviously you know most of them, but we'll tell us a bit about how you found the first week or so. Yeah, it's certainly been a little bit different not having the um, the opportunity to go outside and you know go go get breakfast and go get coffee. But it's just been really good to, to spend a lot more um, time with with you know players. Probably I haven't spent time with that much before, and you know I guess that that's the only people we get to see for the next few weeks. So I just really enjoyed um, you know being around all the boys and, and just trying to learn as much as I can from them. And you're happy with your performances so far? Um, oh, I think I batted reasonably in the first T20 and I was a little bit unlucky but um, oh, I wasn't terribly impressed um, getting out to, to Zamps in the, in the one day -er, but you know that was just a poor decision from my half but um, I think I've, I've kept well which is good um, so hopefully I get an opportunity to, to make some runs in the, the next two T20s tomorrow. Talk of, talking about Zamps, that, that wrong one that he bowled? Yeah I picked it early, I just changed my mind. Um, what shot I was going to play about three times while it was in the air and, and just missed it. Yeah, but it was a, a pretty good ball and was certainly on the money early. And um, you obviously know a few guys from the Sixers and, and WA. Who have you found yourself sort of hanging around with the, the most? Um, kind of varied a little bit, but AJ tends to make coffees in the morning. So I go around there, I, I play a bit of table tennis with Ash Agar and then, um, yeah, like get the opportunity to play golf as well. So I've played golf with a couple of the Sixers boys as well. So I've kind of spread around a little bit. And um, who did you find it toughest to keep to? Stark, Meredith, Lyon, or maybe Barnes? Um, oh, I've, I've kept to Gaza a little bit now. So he, he is tough, but I feel like I've, I've got a few cues now with him. But certainly it was the first time I kept to Starkey and, and Meredith and I found myself standing a little bit too close initially. So they were hitting the gloves pretty hard. So I had to adjust for that. And have you done much work with directly with Alex and on, on your keeping and your glove work? Um, we did a little bit in, in Derby, but um, not too much. We tend to have a, a little bit different routines for, for our warm-ups for the game, so kind of not really together that much, but we probably had about 40 minutes um, in Derby, which was, which was good. And what are your expectations from this trip? Coming in with a pretty uh, pretty open mind, really. Um, I'm aware there's a lot of players on tour, and, and there's going to be ten blokes missing out every game. So, I guess um, you know I'll, I'll be ready, but um, I guess I'll just wait and see what happens.